I mean, now I'm, now I'm to the point where when they take the blood, I'm like, I used to fall out, roll on the floor. I want my mommy. I, 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 I was with all that shit. I, I wanted everything. Now I'm just like, ugh, it's annoying. It's a pinch. It's a pinch. And then I get it over with. But, man, it was bad for me when I was afraid of needles like that. Um, um, I'm in the hospital where I've been. I was so, they gave me Percocet. And I was so high. People were telling me I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. Like, I don't even know what the hell. I, I, listen, I might have told somebody, you know, I don't know what the fuck I said. So whatever I said when under the influence of Percocet, forget it. Um, they're doing something with me now. That's why I got the gown on. They're going to do something with me. And then um, I, got a, I got a day or two more and then I'm good. Or maybe not. I might be able to, I might be be able to pop out. I'm, I'm waiting to see what the results are. They got one more test to do, and I'm waiting to see what the results are. I could be out tonight, or I could be out on Sunday. So it's all based on what the what the results are. It, it is what it is. Um, DMT walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T walk is my dude. It's so funny. It's so funny because I had meetings in Tampa, Florida. I mean, in um, Orlando on the 27th. I went to go see my man Rav, and then on the 28th, I was supposed to go down to Miami to see um, T-Walk, and I couldn't do it because, of course, I had to get the emergency surgery, so next time I'm out in Florida, I'm going to go check my dude. Um, so that's it. I mean, listen, so another thing about it is this shit might not look like much, but it's expensive as shit. So I was asking prices, right? Because you know, I got, I got, I got like, I got health insurance, so I'm, I'm decently good. I got Blue Cross Blue Shield, like the top tier. That I said, I don't care, I'll pay for that shit. And um, they told me, I was like, yo, I asked Doctor Puzo and I asked the nurse. I said, yo, how much is the um, the IVs? And they was like, that shit is like eight hundred dollars every joint. And I was taking four of those a day, easy. So much I was pissing, just pissing, pissing, pissing. Um, that's 10,000 right there. No, no, four times a day, that's 2,500. Four or five days, it's like 10,000. Then it's 5,000 hours a day to stay here, no matter what. Then it's the procedure. So, you know, they, they get bread, they, they get bread. But you know, I thought about it this way, right? Check this. I know that when I get the, once I pay the, once I pay the deductible, I might be responsible for whatever, like some of whatever. But I said to myself, if somebody said to you, pay $8,000, but keep your toe and keep working, or you know something, take those toes and, and, and you don't have to pay. I'm pay Listen, I'll gladly pay that $8,000. As we are still remembering the life, uh, the legacy, and of course, um, uh, the the huge um, uh, legacy, the legend, Vanman Scoop, um, uh, actually left behind. Um, it's been a very um, a tough couple of days uh, ever since uh, the tragedy happened. That was on August 30th, 30th when the legend Fatman Scoop was actually performing, and he collapsed on stage during that performance in Hamden uh, Connect Card. He was 53 years at a time and uh, the Halim native who was best known for his hype man energy on and so many hits uh, the likes of be faithful um you know you know there was also missy elliott's lose control and maria carries it's like um that it's like that you know he received cpr at a time and uh, he was taken to the nearby hospital unfortunately he did not survive so many people so many uh, legends within uh, the hip-hop uh, community also came in came out you know to pay their own respects um, to the legend uh, the tour manager at the time his own DJ also came out with a statement saying that they are honestly lost for words at a time and uh, they said that you took me all over the world and had me performing alongside you on some of the biggest and greatest stages on this planet and the things you've told me have truly made me a man I am today so uh, the, the the video you've just watched at the beginning of uh, this um, video was actually of him before he passed on when he was in hospital uh, you know Know, trying to explain the health issues he had at a time. 
so the funeral and memorial service are going, um, is almost going to be arranged uh, you know um, uh, today um, of course we're going to be giving you all those updates but man it's been really very tough ever since we lost that legend and this morning in time all we can say is continue resting in power we are praying for the family praying for the friends and everyone who was really very close to uh, Fatman's call